Welcome back to The Hive. My name is Florence. Joel here. A few episodes ago, we filmed a video on the DVDO Matrix 44 HDMI Matrix Switch. For today's segment, Joel's actually going to show us how easy it is to set up the control options for this unit, which are IR, LAN, and he'll also briefly cover RS-232. Yes. Now before we dive right in, don't forget to subscribe to BZB TV, folks, so you guys ensure that you don't miss out on any future segments. And don't worry if you missed out on that very first episode, we actually attach the link on our descriptions below if you want to refer back to that, because we will be continuing from where we left off on that video. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, let's get started. So the easiest control to set up for the Matrix 44 is IR which will allow you to control the unit with a remote control. Matrix 44 comes with a remote control and an IR receiver. We already have our unit set up and connected to our four HD sources and our four TVs. So let's go ahead and take the IR receiver cable and plug it into the back of the switcher. And after we plug it into the IR in port, Make sure your IR receiver is in line of sight of your remote control. Once it's plugged in, your remote control is ready to rock. All right, let's take our remote control for a test drive. Right now we have all TVs showing separate HD sources. Say we want the top right display to show the cable box. That one is output B, so we'll select output B input one for our cable box, hit go. Now we have both screens showing the cable box. If we want all of our TV sets to show the cable box, all we have to do is hit all, input one, go. Now all our TVs will show the cable box. Now let's move on to the LAN control. The Matrix 44 has a built-in web server with hosted control GUI which allows for an easy setup and operation without having to access the front panel of the matrix. Connecting was super easy. All we had to do was connect the laptop and the matrix 44 to our network using ethernet cables. After we have both connected to the network, we'll first have to obtain the IP address. You could get the IP address by going to the menu of the matrix 44. Once you're in the menu, you want to use the plus and minus buttons to scroll until you see network setup. You hit enter. Once you're inside network setup, you scroll until you reach your IP address. All right, so let's go ahead and input our IP address into the web browser. Our first tab here is our status tab, which shows our routing status and the current inputs on each TV. You can also preset different input-output combinations. So go to our next tab, it's the IO status. Now our source detection verifies all our inputs are up and running. Also, it'll allow us to label each of our inputs and outputs. Say for input one, we wanna have that as our cable box. Simply type it in, save. And our output A, is our office. Next we have our matrix control where we can fully control our matrix 44. Here we can manually designate our TVs to specific inputs. Currently our output A is showing the cable box, but say we want the cable box also on output B. Simply go to output B from, select input one. Now output B will be showing the cable box as well. If we want all our TVs to output the cable box, simply go to output all from, select input one. Now all our TVs will be on the cable box. On the right side here, we have our EDID statuses where we can also set each display's output resolution. And our last tab we have here is for our network configuration. Advanced users also have the option of setting up the Matrix 44 for RS-232 control. Now RS-232 is a wired protocol that does not carry audio and video. Instead, it's for connecting AV components 
to automation and control systems. Now, if you desire this type of control setup, just give your local professional a call or give us a call here at BZB Express and our tech support team will gladly guide you with that setup. And there you have it guys, that's the second segment of the DVDO Matrix 44. Tune in next time, we'll have a third and final segment expanding on its control capabilities with a third party control platform. Now, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to BZB TV so you don't miss out on those future episodes. My name is Joel, hope to catch you guys on the next episode of The Hive. <laughs>